Hello runners, we are in Sun 7B, Virginia, and we are growing a lot of citrus here in um, a very cold sun. Most of the citrus are sensitive to frost, so they do not grow well in our sun unless you grow them inside a greenhouse, inside your home, with a lot of protection. But um, the easiest way, in my opinion, to grow citrus uh, is inside the house because you don't have to worry about the temperature being... Uh, uh, a certain um, a, a certain degree yeah. growing many citrus we got kumquat we got sugar bell oranges we got Meyer lemon a sugar bell so this is the new Meyer lemon the other Meyer lemon we have uh, is the one that gave us a lot of crops this one flower but since we were in the process of moving them to the this greenhouse it dropped a lot of flowers you can see there is a tiny bit lemon over here I am not sure if it's gonna develop and if we're gonna have uh, actual lemons, but because uh, we were moving it and then a lot of flowers were moving uh, and also we had some cold, uh, cold days while we were moving it. But um, I know that uh, this one, I know it will give us lemons next year. So in my opinion, the easiest way to grow lemons is inside your home because you don't have to worry so much of the temperature outside. You, you know your home is gonna be in like late 60s to somewhere in the 70s. So it's gonna be a nice environment for your lemon and you can just put them by the window, by the door, uh, grow light, and it will do well. And I can tell you that because that's what we were doing last year until our collection grew a lot more. So this year what my husband did is we bought, we he built this greenhouse and this is a it's not a real like fancy greenhouse but it's it's a, it's working very good for us at the moment and what we're going to do is we're trying to avoid moving this greenhouse this uh citrus inside our greenhouse because it's a lot of work before we only had three so it, it was different because it's a small but now we have a lot more so we had had a lot of nice warm days um, a few weeks back, but we also recently had a lot of really, really cold days, cold nights that has gone below freezing every, um, every night. So we have a heater here. So the temperature has been kept uh, pretty decent for our citrus. Uh, we do have to check it every, every several times a day just to make sure that uh, they are warm inside. There is a few places where we had to cover extra because, you know, this was just built by, by us. It's not something that was done professional. So there's some um, little gaps that we've been filling, but so far it's been doing good. But today we're going to harvest our first blood orange of the season. So let me move to that side so you guys can see. We got this blood orange about two years, a little bit over two years ago from Mackenzie Farms. And I posted a video last year. I, I'm not sure if it was the beginning of this year, but anyways, the first crop we got from this tree, uh, we had about three oranges, I think. And this time we have many more. They are smaller. I the tree's still growing, so I guess my mistake was that I didn't thin the fruit so the so the orange didn't grow so much, but it's still I'm still happy with them. And this was inside our home in by the window. So it was thriving there and it was happy. And right here it's doing well. So I'm excited to harvest our first blood orange of the season. And let me show you right here. We're gonna I guess we're gonna choose this one. I'm pretty sure they are. They are um, ripe, and we're gonna cut them. We have a uh, Meyer lemon. We got sugar bell. We got another grapefruit here, and I know it's not easy to grow citrus in cold areas because you cannot uh, have them in ground, and you have to keep an eye that the the, the their temperature inside here uh, is. It's good for them, but um, we are trying our best, and I think we're so far we're doing good. This has been a, um, a couple of cold days here, so we're gonna cut this. 
here and try to okay so this is very small orange like i said and last year it was definitely bigger but like i mentioned before the tree is still growing because you're going to try they're, they're small but small if you don't thin the fruits on the trees that are small they're not going to give you really big uh, fruits but um I decided to go ahead and do its thing three but um that's all we get but i'm happy it's gonna it's gonna give us more next year i'm pretty sure so we're gonna try this one. Oh, so good so this is the blue orange it's supposed to be the color is supposed to be a little bit more a lot well it's supposed to be red okay so this is the blood orange and I got a harvest from it and um, I got many more that we can uh, we can have later and I'm very happy I, I really like it. it's very delicious it's it's tart but it's really flavors nothing com this doesn't compare to what you get at the stores so this is two years old this particular and it's pretty good i like it i this is something that i will i think um i would like to have two of them but i think we're gonna have one. Oh, actually i think i have two do i have two? Oh, yeah i do have another one over there i i completely forgot so we have two let me uh so it's this one right here i forgot i had two yeah this is a blood orange that is growing here but anyways uh thank you guys for watching are you guys growing any of the citrus here are you guys growing blood orange let me know in the comments below i would like to know if you're the color of your blood orange if you're growing that is is it is is it a red inside so far the second the so far this is our second harvest and we haven't had any uh, any red colors in them I'm not sure what it could be. I know they need, they benefit from the cold, but it, they've been having some cold, uh, cold weather here. So I'm not sure if, um, if that makes a difference. I, I'm not sure. So, but anyways, I'm happy with this. And if, um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are growing it, let me know how it goes. And until the next video. Let's keep on growing a green plant together.